Hey everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'd like to share with you how to loop a section of your audio or video in DaVinci Resolve. So let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve right now we're on the Fairlight page and I would like to loop a section of my audio right here uh, because I'm going to do some mixing on it and I would like to listen to the same part over and over again to see how the changes that I'm doing are affecting the audio. To do this, we're going to need to select a section. So we're going to need to set up in and out point. To do that, you can just go wherever you want it to start and hit I on your keyboard to set the in point and then go to the end of your section and hit O on your keyboard to set up the out section. Now next, you need to make sure that you have here the loop activated. So the loop should be red. Right now it's disable and here it's enable. But even now if I play it with the space bar, as you can see, it's not gonna loop. It's a bit odd, but we're gonna need to use a special shortcut to play it in a loop. The shortcut is option slash on Mac and alt slash on Windows. And now as you can see, when I play it, it's looping over and over again. It's the exact same process here on the edit page. You just set your in your out point, making sure that here you have the loop activated and then option slash to play it. If you're not sure that you're going to remember the shortcut here in mark, you have the in and out with the shortcut right here. And then in playback, if you scroll down, you have loop and loop shortcut here and the play in and out shortcut right here. As you can see though, my shortcut is a bit different because I'm not using a QWERTY keyboard, but a Nazarty keyboard, which is a French keyboard. If that's your case, like me, the default shortcut will not work. So you can just go straight up here to play it, but it's quite inconvenient. So I've just switched the shortcut for something that works on my keyboard. To do that, I went here in DaVinci Resolve keyboard customization and then here I've just searched for play in and instead of having option slash I switch it for option colon and one last shortcut that matter in that case if you want to clear up the in and out point you can just hit option x on your keyboard and it will just clear out the in and out point for window user it will be alt x and that's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.